This is the super abound, and I've got a super abound regular short board, as well as the super abound step up. And these are great compliments as a good waves board for the journeyman. So a travel board for really good waves. If you're going to slabs, if you're going to Indo, waves that are just round and bring out that high performance aspect in a board. These two are for my friend Richie, who he's a slab hunter. And this same file was actually taken off boards for my friend Pierce. Two of my buddies ride the exact same boards and they're always going around looking for places to get barreled at too. So these two boards are fun. I do a lot of the same board. It's just a cool thing to make boards for people that, you know, they're hungry and they're hardcore and they go out there, they save their ducats and they watch the map, see what storms are brewing where, in touch with friends all over the world. And like, hey, what, how's it looking here or there? And they'll go and drop stuff, get tubed off their heads, just as good as anybody you see in the magazines or online. These are just normal dudes that love to surf. And I think that's sick. So I love making boards for my friends and, and guys that love surfing. And, getting tubed. I don't tout this as the super versatile everything model because that's not what it is. And there are certain boards that you have them for a specific purpose. You have them in your arsenal and your quiver for when the waves are firing. This is one of those. I have a few board models like this for when you're going places where things get real and you need a scalpel. The super abound stems from the Greek root for to abound more and more. And when the waves are abounding more and more, that's when you pull out these puppies. It's got a lot of rocker throughout, especially in the middle of the board. The belly of the board has a lot of rocker. What characterizes this board though is that it doesn't have a lot of flip in the ends. So it's continuous and it's continual. So waves that are just machine perfect, reef pass stuff, you know, where it's bending on the reef and just bowling back at you, clamshelling back at you. This board just fits perfectly into waves like that, but you're not gonna have any start stop from like, flatter portions, accelerated portions, it's just gonna mesh curve to curve. So a lot of rocker throughout takes a round wave to get this to go, but in round waves, the more round the rocker is, the more curvy the hull is, the quicker the board's gonna go. So sometimes you hear rules like, oh, the flatter the rocker, the faster it goes, or the curvier the rocker, the slower it goes, but the looser it is. Those are relative terms. For this style of board in round waves, the fastest board is going to be a curvy board. The cool thing that marks this though, even though it's got a little curve in the middle, which gives you a lot of bend, when you step on the tail and drive an arc, you can do a full on-rail turn because just the tail rocker itself is not super flippy, so it's, it's straighter. So even though the whole board throughout is loose and it will swivel right in the pocket, front end won't get hung up, when you do set it, it drives through a turn with a lot of power, which is cool. And then the front of the board, if you'll see, through here, all that extra curve, when you're in a steep faced wave and you didn't want to do a maneuver in the steeper area of that wave, the last thing you want is for water to come across the deck over your foot and for the board to hiccup in a steep wave. You want that front end out. So all that curve keeps the front end out. The rails on it are knifey. It's like a low volume knifey rail. So it's not made for mushy waves to push back and drive. It's made for steep waves to knife in, scalpel, and have precision artistry, precision drawing of your lines with a nice low knifey rail. It's not a real extreme hole. It doesn't have super heavy concaves or deep channels or anything. It's got an even single running the length from nose to tail, moderately deep, but not, not extreme, with subtle inset doubles through the fins. And what that gives you is a board that's really predictable. If you're riding a little forward in the barrel or you're back on it doing turns on, on a steady paced wave, this is a steady, really comfortable feeling hull. It gives a nice amount of grip. It holds through stuff. We got the super bound step up, which is the same concept, same curve. Um, what's cool about the super abound and the super bound step up or just having you know a two pack like this in your quiver for when you travel to somewhere that's firing is you can have your short board that you're really comfortable with that you get to know and keep that same concept the same uh, kind of intrinsic values of a, of a particular short board you can put them put it in your step up so when the waves start to really push and there's more open ocean water 
You can glide in earlier. It's the tail pulled a little bit more so it can handle the power. Round pins work really good in the barrel, so good barrel board. And just a little bit knifier, more needly. This is a couple inches longer. I always recommend going, you know, whatever your regular shortboard is, go just like a couple inches more for a slight step up. It's always good to have that little extra because a dynamic, high performance shortboard for good waves, they'll work in almost anything. But sometimes if it starts to really pump and you don't have a jet ski or something like that, just getting into them a little bit earlier helps and that's where the step up is good. And so it runs off the same concave. So this one you'll notice when with the five fin option, that way you can run it as a quad in barrels that run real fast down the line. The quads get so much speed that you can literally come from behind the foam ball and make it out of those really fast runners. So more of a lateral fin setup than really a real turny snappy fin setup. Since you have two fins on your rail, you'll draw your arcs wider, but you'll be able to draw them with more speed because you have more leverage and you have more fin area on your rail. And you will be able to do like the broad, nice, you know, full figure eight roundhouses and not get to, you know, the down part of the wave and have to kind of like milk the clutch or ease off the gas, but you'll be able to drive it all the way through maintaining speed because of that extra fin. You will draw longer and wider with two then as a thruster where just around one fin, you'll be able to pull a tighter arc or, you know, kind of yank the board and bank it tighter. And these are poly boards. Poly boards sometimes get a bad rap these days, but you know, lately I've been wondering, they work so good and virtually every person who's ever won a world title has won on a poly board. So they, they work insane and they handle like open ocean conditions and wind and elements and chop in the face. They handle that stuff so good and they have that nice dampening flex characteristic. What if today polyfoam was invented and we never had it before and all of a sudden it was this new discovery and we're feeling what the poly boards offer under our feet in certain conditions. We got to still really appreciate and take advantage of when the conditions are right that poly boards have their time when they're really the best thing to ride. And then there's other times and other conditions where, you know, the epoxies work really sick too. So it's not like one or the other, one's bad, one's good. And, and honestly, if you build a poly board correctly and you use good foam, you don't overshape the foam so it cuts into the soft foam, but you shape it properly, you use good glass resin, good techniques, a lot of poly boards can last a long, long time. When you build a board so that it lasts, and say it lasts five times longer than another board that is not made well, that is the most ecologically friendly and sound, smart way to build a thing, to keep things green and to be good for our environment, and also building boards to a need, to people that have a specific request. Hey, I'm going to this wave here, I need a board for this. And you build it to what their need is, then they're getting the board that's right for them and and they're not going to have to jump around on like five, six, seven, eight different boards before they find a good one playing a guessing game. So that's what we really love to do here is get people on the board that's right for them, build boards to last, and something that's going to be a magic board for somebody that they can hang on to for a while. And so these are the super bound and super bound step up. And that is their story.